Hey everyone, it's John from Seattle Coffee Gear. I'm here doing a crew comparison of two machines that have been really popular so far this year. We have the Ranchilio Silvia Pro, and then we have the Rocket Espresso Apartamento. Ever since the Silvia Pro has been out and we've been putting out videos on it, one of the machines that we get asked about a lot in comparison with it is the Apartamento. So I know a lot of you have been looking for this video. Well, here it is. We're gonna talk about these two machines, why you might want one or the other and do a quick comparison of them. So let's make some coffee, but before we do that, let's talk about the two machines and the features of them. Let's start with the Apartamento from Rocket Espresso. This is Rocket Espresso's entry-level model. So price point wise, these two are very similar. If you wanna see the most current prices, check out our website. Uh, we don't say, them in, say the prices in videos just because they can change at times. So we prefer that I just go to the website and check the prices there because that's the most up-to-date info. But this is Rocket's entry-level machine, as I said. It's a heat exchanger machine and it has a pressure stat controlling the boiler temperature or pressure, however you wanna look at that. It's a pretty simple machine. It does have a gauge there for the pressure of the boiler, but it does not have a gauge for the pressure at the group. You'd have to step up to one of Rocket's other models to get that. But it does have insulated steam wands, uh, and you can also purchase additional tips if you wanna get uh, crazy and try out some different stuff there. And you all have a steam wand here, and then you have your hot water tap over there. The Apartamento also has the nice cutouts on the side that there are some different color options for, and you can change out the cup rail for a metal one if you'd like. So it has some customization options. You could get a bottomless portafilter, you could change out the handle for a wood one if you want. It has a good bit of adjustability there, and it also has Rocket's great build quality and fit and finish. So even for their entry-level machine, it's still a really well-built machine. And in a bit, I'm gonna compare the noise level of these two so you can kind of hear them side by side because the Apartamento is a little bit quieter than the Silvia Pro. This has been heating up, so it should almost be good there. It's been about 20 minutes or so that it's been on. I'd say 20 to 30 minutes is about how long you'd wanna wait just to make sure that the thermosiphon system is up to temp and your group is up to temp, so you're brewing with some stable temps. Because it is a heat exchanger style machine, you do want to purge some water from the group if it's been sitting for a while. Sounds like that's not quite up to temp yet. If it's up to temp and you purge it, you'll hear, hear a crackling sound from the group because that's the superheated water coming out of the heat exchanger. So just purge before you brew. Uh, it does have the same E61 group. So you can do, if let me hear, you can do a little bit of pre-infusion if your tank is full before the pump kicks on, which I like to do with lighter roasted coffees. Uh, just helps. I uh, get a little bit more sweetness to balance out the acidity in my opinion there. So that is the Rock Espresso Apartamento. Pretty simple, but it has a great build. It's gonna last you a long time. Looks great on your counter. It's a small compact package, so can't go wrong with that as kind of an entry to prosumer machines. Now, let's talk about the Silvia Pro. So the looks of this machine may not be for everyone. I know a lot of people say that the Rockets look better than the Ranchilio. It's personal preference. I like the Rocket a little bit better, but that's my choice. Um, I've had both of these at home and the Rocket got higher points from my wife. So take that as you will, those of you with significant others. This machine is pretty similar in functionality to the Rocket. You have a steam wand, you have a hot water tap, but the steam wand is not insulated and neither is the water tap, obviously. But that doesn't really matter because you're not really moving that while it's going. This is a dual boiler machine. So if you notice here, this is in Celsius, so 96 degrees Celsius, just over 200 degrees if my converting serves me correctly, 200 degrees Fahrenheit, sorry. Um, and this does have a brew boiler in front and then a steam boiler in back. You have the option to turn on the steam boiler or turn it off. Um, we have a lot of stuff pulling power, so I don't have it on right now, but in a little bit when we're steaming drinks, I'll turn it on. Why don't I turn it on right now and that'll heat up. Um, this also acts as a shock counter when you run it. So if you see there, I still have an old puck in there. Let's knock that out. 
but it'll time your shots for you, which is something you don't get on the Apartamento. In our experience, the build quality on the Silvia Pro is pretty good. It's on par with the original Silvia, which a lot of you know can last a very long time. I'd say that these two would probably last about the same amount of time. You might have to do some work on the pressure stat on the Apartamento sooner than you would have to on the PID controllers on the boiler of the Silvia Pro, but your mileage may vary with that. This also has a bit of programming. We go into that more in depth in the review of this, so check that out. But you have some kind of limited auto on programming, kind of like an old school coffee pot where you set it the night before to come on in the morning. So that's the way the auto on for this works. Not as programmable as like the R58 from Rocket or the Linea Mini or other La Marzocco machines. So a little bit limited there, but it is a nice function. Um, some people will put these on like a auto plug or a smart plug and use that. I just recommend a bit of caution with that to make sure that if your smart plug fails and fries your espresso machine, that smart plug company is gonna pay for a new espresso machine for you. So you're not uh, stuck without coffee for a while. But that covers most of the basics between these two machines. The biggest difference is heat exchanger, dual boiler. So temperatures are gonna be more consistent on the Silvia Pro for brewing, which you might notice shot to shot. We're gonna pull shots on these side by side and see how much of a difference there is in flavor. And we have the Atom Specialty 75 from Eureka as our grinder between the two. It's a really nice home grinder. Check out the review for that as well. We now have it in white. Uh, it looks pretty sharp and white in my opinion. So we're also using Quill's Blacksmith Espresso Blend. They're out of Kentucky. I really enjoy this blend. It's a little bit lighter, but not too acidic. So check that out on our, out on our website as well. But let's go ahead and get to brewing. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and prep two uh, shots that are as identical as possible. Both of these come with the like Italian size double baskets in them. So they're kind of a 14 gram basket more than like a 17 gram. That would be more, more in line with what we use here in the US specialty market is a 17 gram basket. But with these 14s, you can fit about 17 in it and it works fine. So that's what we're doing today. Got that. I haven't used this grinder in a bit and I always forget just how fast it doses. Overshot it. Add a little bit of time there. Okay, 17.2.1. Tap that out. And tamp. Got that. Check it. No cracks. I'm going to set it right next to it there. And how are we doing? Just about there. Yeah, we're just about there. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this out. I might have to pull another shot to truly see once that one's completely up to temp. I believe the brew boiler on the Silvia Pro is a little bit smaller than the steam boiler on the Apartamento. So if you just have the brew boiler on on the Silvia Pro, it does come to temp really fast compared to the Apartamento. I'd say like 15 minutes. You still wanted to give it more time for like the case and the group to heat up a little bit, but 10, 15 minutes and the brew boiler will be up to temp. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Nice, I added just the right amount of time. So that's a 2.3 second time for a 17 gram dose. So pretty fast. Distribute that. Nice and tamped. Good to go there. Clean off my ears. And I'm going to grab a second scale so I can weigh these at the same time. 17 in and then I'm aiming for like a 34 to 36 out in some high 20 second ranges. So I'll grab another scale and we'll pull these shots. Alrighty, let's get to brewing here. I'm going to do a quick flush on this. 
Good to go there. Lock it into place. Get my scale into place. Come over here and flush this. Lock in the porta filter. There we go. And let's brew. So let's see who's dropping first. We drop first over here. Looks like we're pulling a little bit faster on the apartamento. And we got 21 on the apartamento. And 26 on the Sylvia Pro. Not bad, not bad. There we go. And two separate cups here, so you can see. Um, based on the crema of the two of them, you can't, I'm not sure how well you can see this on camera, but just like my eyeball assessment, it looks like the Sylvia Pro brewed a little bit hotter, um, but it also looks like the apartamento, the basket might be a little bit better. So that's just my initial thought by looking at it. Um, let's go ahead and rinse my spoon here on the apartamento. Try and do it without. There we go. Give that a stir. And come over here and give that a stir. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and start with the espresso from the Apartamento. This coffee's a little bit old, I have to admit. So not a ton of the aromatics off of it, but let's taste it. Hopefully I don't burn myself. I think that brewed a little bit cooler, which is one of the downsides of a heat exchanger machine is you're working with kind of a temperature range. If your machine's fully heated up and has been on for a while, it'll be in a good range. It does pull consistently. Rocket has done a lot of development on the heat exchanger design and flow restrictors to make sure the temperature stays in a good range. But a machine that has a boiler dedicated for brewing and is controlled with a PID is always gonna be a heat exchanger. That's just kind of the, the facts of it there. So get a little bit more of the nose. It looks like the brew time on this definitely lended it a bit more body. So it's a taste a little bit fuller, maybe a little bit higher concentration on that. Both of them have a really sweet flavor profile to them, almost a little bit like green tea like, but then there's a little bit of like a tangerine or an orange peel in there as well with a little bit of like a lemon zest on the finish. So pretty tasty, even for something that's kind of old. Um, I enjoyed it. and. Just the burrs on the 75 millimeter grinders from Eureka kill it every time. So can't go wrong there. Now that we've talked a little bit about the brewing on each of these, let's talk about the steaming. I'll make a quick latte on each and then we can see them side by side and you can judge my latte art. So I'll get set up and we'll do that. Let's get to steaming. We're gonna make two kind of cortado cappuccino, four to five ounce drinks on each of these and look at the milk quality of each and see some latte art and you can judge for yourself on what looks better. But two whole steam tip on the Rocket, four whole steam tip on the Ranchilio. We'll do the Rocket first. You can get different steam tips for that, but shouldn't make too much of an impact. I can get pretty good milk on each. So let's start here. Get rid of that. Little crackle. While I'm here, let's compare the sound of these two because the Sylvia is a little bit louder. So one, two, one, two. So yes, the Sylvia Pro is louder. I kind of feel like an eye doctor. What's better, one, two? One or three. All 
right, I'm just gonna eyeball the dose on this, but I'll kind of get over here so you can see what I'm doing. Nice and smooth aeration. Ooh, that shot's a little messy. That's all right. We're not drinking it. Looking good. Pour some off. Don't worry, there's a pitcher back there. Wouldn't make anybody clean that up. All right, here we go. All righty. Don't spill. Nice little tulip on the apartamento there. Pretty easy to steam on it. Um, as I've used these machines more, I came from commercial machines that had four hole steam tips and I was really used to that. So there's a bit of a learning curve for me coming from those to one of these. But after using these home machines for a while, I can get up to the same pace I was at when I used to work in coffee shops. So let's reset and then I'll do some stuff on the Sylvia. Alrighty, let's go ahead and brew and steam on the Sylvia. Get this all wiped out here. Again, about 2.3 seconds. Not mad about that. Quick tamp. A flush. And let's get to brewing. Looking good. Purge. More recently, I have been using a machine that has a two hole steam tip on it. So I'm a little bit more proficient with that at the moment, but let's see here. I'm gonna kill this so we don't lose power. Pour a bit off. Now let's see what we can do with the Sylvia. Kind of a similar design here, but we got a frame wing tulip. Equally good milk on both of these machines. Um, I probably prefer the Sylvia Pro a little bit just because I'm used to the style of steam tip that that has. These have both been sitting for a minute here, but at least you can see them kind of side by side there. Looks like I'm not quite centered in the cup with the Sylvia, but no worries. The milk quality has held up pretty good as it's been sitting for like five minutes or so on the apartamento, but both of these would be great if you're looking to hone your barista skills at home, hone at home. It's fun to say. So you're not gonna go wrong with either. I think that the apartamento is probably more of the machine for somebody who maybe isn't a full out coffee nerd, but does want a high quality coffee uh, or espresso machine to use at home. Cause it'll look awesome on your counter. Your friends will probably compliment you on it once you can have friends at your house again. Um, but this is definitely a, a solid machine, but I'd say probably more for the person who isn't quite the coffee nerd just cause it is a heat exchanger style machine. Still brews great coffee as I showed here and tasted here. 
The Silvia Pro, on the other hand, I would see more for kind of the coffee nerd, somebody who really wants that finite control of brew temperature. Ranchilio has proven really good temperature accuracy or brew stability on this. You can see some of the results of that on their website. I think it's Ranchilio Group in A.com. So check that out for more results on the um, temperature stability on the Silvia Pro. But again, both are great machines. Silvia Pro is a little bit louder, but has more features. The design of the Apartamento is definitely more universally appealing between the two, but both are gonna make great coffee. Both are gonna last you a while, so you can't go wrong either way. If you have comments about anything I covered in the video, drop those below. I'll do my best to jump in there uh, once the video is posted to help answer some of those. You can also email us at sales.seattlecoffeegear.com. You can also chat with us, call us, and we'd be happy to help you out with any questions about these machines. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more of our content, if you're not subscribed already, do that and turn on notifications. And you'll see when we post new videos. Check out the rest of our videos, the crew reviews on each of these individually. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you're drinking good coffee today and have a great rest of your day.